Hi, I'm Don, and welcome back to my channel, Don's DIYs, where it's always better when you do it yourself. Today, we're going to be installing the USB port chargers in uh, the Jeep so we can charge our phones and tablets and stuff and uh, don't have to continue to use the cigarette lighter. Um, you're going to notice that some of these days I have a tent, some days I don't. It was filmed over multiple days uh, when I got time to do stuff. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Okay, so I have the dash here. What I've done is I've added a plate to the to the uh, pocket up on top. You can see I've already added the two USB ports. So there's actually four USB ports up here. I'm gonna try to get it close enough for you guys can read. So that's what uh, I've put in. Okay. What I've got now is this. I already have a power cord run through here. I'm gonna try to play a little game with it. And uh, I'm gonna pull this wire through. And because since this wire, the wire I'm pulling through is longer, I'm gonna pull it through. And when I get enough inside, then I'm what I'm gonna do is tape this back on, pull it back. So, um, so that's taped and ready to go. So what we're gonna do is move inside now and show you where we're going to pull those wires from. Okay, so what I've done is is the cord, that's, the wire that's gotta go back is here. I've got about two foot of the new, new stuff hanging. And I come up about two foot and I retape what I need to pull back through on there. So now so, I've got, this is the wire that, I'm actually, that I actually pulled through. So what I'm doing is now I'm gonna pull this wire back. There we go. So I'm gonna get this off of here and we'll go back inside. Okay. We've got everything buttoned up underneath the hood, except I gotta put terminal ends on. Uh, I'll get them and put them on last. I wanna get everything set in here before I do that. So our next problem is going to be running this wire do we run it underneath and come up and i think that's probably going to be the best bet so see how easy that was you take that out okay i'm going handheld for a second you guys can see where that wire is ran it's just a coat hanger okay I just run it through there and it came out right there so that's how I'm gonna hook my wires and pull my wires back up to the dash where I need them at the top okay now we're gonna get these uh, two wires taped onto my pull wire Nothing fancy, just get them on there. I got a small hook on the end of it for pulling wires, jimmy and locks, whatever. See that quick? Boom, it's up there. Wires are out. Okay. Now that we've got the wires all tucked in, they're all zip tied in, we're going to put our connectors on. And what I'm putting on, the blade, I'm putting on the quick connects, the blade is on my uh, USB ports. And uh, 
I'm putting the, the male end or the female end on this. That way, if I have to unplug it, I don't have to worry about disconnecting it. Because the, uh, the metal is going to be covered. And I've, I've left extra up here that I can tuck in so that when I go to pull, if I have to pull the dash, I've got some room to get it out of the way so I can unplug it. This. Okay, so that's everything back together. That's how it looks when uh, we're driving down the road. We've got mounts for the GoPros front uh, facing and, and front facing. Got a RAM mount for the uh, seven inch tablet. Got two phone mounts. Now the, the grip on this is not. You know, I used to ride a motorcycle and there was a reason why I never had a really loud exhaust and that was it. But two easies are on. So uh, again, uh, the phone holder itself is not ram mount, but the arm and the ball on the uh, bar is. Uh, everything else on this thing went, went to crap. So I bought a new arm and a new ball from ram mount. Uh, until these go out, I'm not, you know, going to spend the money, but, uh, don't buy the cheap ones, guys. Go ahead and get Ram mounts. If you're going to do something like this, get the Ram mounts. Okay. We have our positive and our negative that is coming from our USB ports. That's what this is. We're going to get these ready to go in here. I, I uh, got the inline fuse it will be for that it's a it's a good sealed one so we don't have to worry about it getting messed up so uh it says 10 amp max so that's what's in it it's 10 amp so we're good there so let's get these all ready and dressed up and re and ready to go so um i do have some uh some of the plastic loom that you see on a lot of them to, to dress it up. I picked the stuff up at Lowe's. I can't remember the price, but I got it at Lowe's. I did, I bought one pack of it a while back just to, just to have it on hand for stuff like this. So the, the ground will get a regular connection. I don't like those. Okay, this is just a regular eyelet. So uh, this doesn't have any type of uh, cover over it or anything like that, but it still works. Cause I mean, it's going on a battery. If you're afraid of this arcing out on the battery, then maybe you shouldn't be uh, trying this. Okay, so that's on there, uh, uh, on there nice and good. So I got to get that nut off. And I thought I had the wrench. Nope. Let me grab that, that elusive 10 millimeter. Okay, I got my 10 millimeter. Almost took off the wrong one. This is your accessory port to put your accessories on. This is to tighten the battery down. Do not put it on that one, which I, what I almost did.
Okay. I'm going to check uh, my supply of factory nuts and bolts and see if I can find a 10 millimeter to go in here. Okay, I did find one. Uh, it's the reason why I never throw that stuff away. I always keep them in, I got them in a magnetic tray in, in the back. Uh, I've already replaced it, moved it down here. My terminal for my um, winch. And then I've got this other one opened up now that I can stick the accessories on. I don't have to worry about the winch cable coming loose and stuff like that, or the winch wire. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut back some of this red because I know that I've got a lot with the plug. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna do our fuse. Cut that. Try that again. Okay. And we'll do one more. So, one of these will get the hot. There's our hot. Already got our splitter on butt connector okay Sure, that's crimped down on there good. All right, so now we're ready to hit power to this thing. Oh, there it is. I don't have to tell you if you're using a socket like this, be careful. I hope I don't have to tell you. But I'm going to tell you anyway. Be careful. Make sure you're not hitting anything grounded. Because if you hit anything grounded, stuff will go poof. All right. So uh, I'm going to run inside real quick and double check and make sure that we've got power. And we have power. So the next thing to do is clean up some of this a little bit. Make it look a little bit more presentable. Uh, with some of this beautiful wire loom. Uh, I'm gonna actually, I, ha I told you guys before I have my CB wire running in here. I'm gonna go ahead and run it in the loom to protect it. It's, uh, this stuff's, you know, pretty cheap to put on wires. 
and it will save you a lot of headache in the long run. You know, you don't want you don't want bare wires rubbing up against your metal on your on your Jeep or any car of that you know. Even in my golf cart at work, if I run wires, I put this stuff on it. it saves you uh, saves you a headache down the road when it uh, Got to find the right one. There it is. Uh, we're just going to run this all the way back in. I've got a place right here that I can zip tie to. That's going to help dress it, dress this up. I guess I could have thrown my CB antenna in there too. I guess wire, which I got to get a new CB. The storm took that out too. I told you about that. Okay, so we're good right there. Take one of these little zip ties. Don't have to be uh, strong, just needs to hold it in place. Just to keep it from uh, bouncing around, rubbing around. Okay. Then now, see now this is this end is pretty secure, so I can uh, be a little. Well, that's my uh, ring telling me that I'm out in front of the garage. So what I'm going to do is once I get to the CB antenna wires, uh, I'll I'll pull them out and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm gonna leave these CB wires out like that. All I'm gonna do is just take a zip tie right here. Snug it up. And that's just to keep this wire from coming out anymore. Okay, I wanted to go all the way to right about there, so I'm just going to cut this stuff. And you can do it. You you can get a pair of scissors and cut it. Uh, this is how I cut. I usually got a pair of those uh, cut all scissors. Uh, you know the ones out of the do you find in the uh, kitchen uh, knife things when you buy them. Okay, so now here's my CB. So when I when I go to redo my CB, I can put, uh, I can do, you know, I can do this. I can bring this over. I can lengthen these lines, bring them in, and lengthen them, and you know, and hide them inside the loom. But that's I just want to be able to make you know keep reminding me that I need to get the CB things done. I still got I got to get a new antenna now. I got some. Uh, uh work inside to do i gotta i still gotta zip tie that down but this is this is up and going i'm going to uh in a further video go over how it works for me but uh that's all i want to do today was to get it going and it's actually going it's going to be kind of a test in the morning whether <laughs> the battery on the jeep is dead or it's it's doing good well eventually once we get the the dual battery kit put in which i keep talking about that i have it it's sitting over there in a box brand new the problem is that when i go to do it the then my jeep is down for ever how long it takes me to do it so uh i just gotta make time to do it maybe i'll get my dad to help me with that I may get him to help me with that. But that's it on this right here. Well, that is it for me today, guys. Uh, I'm going to get inside and watch some of the NASCAR race, see who wins Las Vegas. Uh, as always, be safe in your shops. Be safe when you're driving out there on the road. And when you're on the trail, stay on the trail. Peace out.